Simba was right. Everyone will suffer. Simba is a fake. He is a hateful, bitter liar. He's poison. And his words still haunt you. Who do you trust? Him? Or me? Do you still believe in me, Senua? In us? Come back to me. Please. Don't let this darkness come between us. sword with which to fight in more ways than one. And she gave him her word, never to surrender. All she needed was a little help, a little hope. Into the mountain. Can you see it? Shall we tell her where to go? It's not far. Go on. Look. Up. Just up there. Listen to me. Shall we tell her where to go? Hmm. Shall we? Does she know which way to look? Does she know her way into the mountain? She's a good girl. Oh, isn't she? Look. So clever. Did you miss us? Oh, she There's did. a door. You can do it. You can see it. Come on, Senua. Go away. I'm not listening. tell you of a great hero named Sigurd, son of Sigmund, no less. Born after his father's death, Sigurd is cared for by the dwarf, Rain. But Rain does not love the boy. Instead, he plans to use him for his own ends. You see, Rain's father possessed a great treasure given to him by the gods. But Rain's brother, Fafnir, killed his father and took the gold all for himself. Fafner hid the treasure out on a heath and could not leave it. And from the evil in his heart, he turned into a dark creature. A dragon.
is it? She can feel it. No. Don't open the door. Don't go in. Don't turn back. Turn back. What's it? Get back. A great beast guards Helheim. Garm is its name. And it knows you are here, Senua. It can smell your stink. What are you afraid of, Senua? How will you save Dillion if you are too much of a coward to step into the shadow? They can't stop me. Then do it! Useless here. to do. Your father wants them to go away, and he only hurts me to silence them. But he's gone now. They always come back. He says I will die if I go with them. They say that I'm already dead. No, he okay. won't be with them. Stop! That's why they crawl through the walls. Don't do you them. see them? Do you see their faces? Help me! Help! Get me out of here! Don't go! Where has she gone? She's disappeared again. She shouldn't be here. She escaped the darkness. She, she took her own life to escape it. She can't remember when it started. When her mother lost her smile. Her eyes gazing past her towards a world she could not see. This is what happens if you reach for the underworld, he said. It was a lot to take in for a child. And the first time she felt the cold chill of fear. I don't talk much about her father, Zinbel. I suppose I just didn't want to risk upsetting her. But it doesn't matter now does it?
night will guide you. Rian the Dwarf's sole desire is to possess this dragon's accursed treasure, and he uses Sigurd to reclaim it. He tells Sigurd the story of Fafnir's gold, and the good-hearted hero promises to slay the dragon if Rian would forge a strong sword for him. Sigurd remembers that his father once possessed a sword given to him by Odin. Odin broke the sword to bring about Sigmund's death, but Sigurd's mother still has the pieces. And so Rian reforges the famous sword. Sigurd uses the sword first to avenge his father, and then he and Rian go in search of Fafnir.
The dragon Fafner is so large and deadly that it would be impossible to kill him face to face. But each day, Fafner crawls across the heath to find water. So Sigurd digs a pit in the dragon's path and lies in wait in it. When Fafner slithers overhead, Sigurd sinks his sword into the dragon up to the hilt. Sigurd leaps from the pit, and Fafner sees his killer. He warns Sigurd that the treasure will lead to his death, as it led to the death of all who owned it. Sigurd replies that death comes to all men, and every man would want to be wealthy until that day. And he takes the treasure. anywhere without your light. Take the torch and move. What's she doing? She's lighting the torch. <laughs> it's not gonna help her. She's I need to say it. Darkness. Do you think you can keep away from the shadows if you light the torch? You kill You're wrong. She realized that only she could see them. Her father, Zinbel, could see the monster in her.
it's not gonna run out soon. She hasn't got much time. Burn out. She's too slow. The darkness will come again. She escaped the darkness, and she's with the gods. But what if they lied? What if the darkness took her and trapped her here? Where is her mother? It's just another trap. It's a trap. The beast is coming.
Sigurd kills the dragon. Rian wants to keep Fafnir's gold all for himself. 
Rayan also wants the strength and wisdom of the dragon, so he drinks its blood and asks Sigurd to roast Fafnir's heart for him. Sigurd does so, but when he touches the roasted heart to see if it is done, he burns his finger. Without thinking, he licks his finger and tastes the dragon's blood. In that moment, he understands the language of birds and hears them talk nearby. Once she gets down there, she'll never come out. It's luring her down. The darkness will take her like it took her mother. The beast knows. The beast knows exactly where she is. She's falling for it. Sigurd's newfound power lets him hear the birds speak. And they say, Sigurd should eat the heart himself. Rian wants Fafnir's gold. Sigurd should kill Rian before Rian kills him. Sigurd should find Brynja, the Valkyrie, who sleeps an enchanted sleep. Sigurd heeds the birds of ice. He kills Rian, eats Fafnir's roasted heart, and takes Fafnir's treasure. And he embarks on a new quest. To ride to Hinderfell and find Grimhild, the Valkyrie.